This video shows how the eMachine Shop CAD tracing paper feature was used to quickly design a gasket to repair a machine leak. This method is appropriate for low tolerance applications or as a design starting point. Here is what happened. We discovered a leak on the floor below one of our machines. So we removed the bolts to expose the ceiling gasket. This is the defective gasket. Normally we would use a caliper to carefully measure all sizes and positions, but since this is a rubber gasket and we wanted a quick solution, we decided to use the eMachine Shop tracing feature. First we use a smartphone to take a picture. Holding the phone parallel to the surface with the lens approximately centered over the part, we took a picture of the surface. We verified that the picture was clear. We then measured and wrote down the overall size. We uploaded the picture from our smartphone to a PC. We opened the uploaded picture and sized it to fill most of the screen. We then opened the eMachine Shop CAD program and created a blank design. Choosing Edit, Preferences, General, Tracing Paper turns on that feature. We now see the eMachine Shop CAD interface and the image at the same time. We'll now draw and resize circles to match the image. We start by drawing and positioning a circle for the outside diameter of our gasket. Then we draw a circle for one of the bolt holes. We'll use the repeat button to make additional circles for the remaining bolt holes. Now we drag the circles into position over their bolt holes. Finally, we draw a circle for the inside diameter of the gasket, snapped to the center of the outside diameter. Next, uncheck Edit, Preferences, General, Tracing Paper. Now we need to set the overall size to match what we measured. Choose Edit, Select All. Drag the corner handles to resize to the noted size. Set the Z value to the desired thickness. Selecting View, 3D verifies the shape of the part. Finally, choose Job, Material, and select Rubber as a material. And this is the resulting gasket we made after taking a picture and running it through eMachine Shop. It fits well on the shoot. We then reassemble the unit.